Obviously, um, a very big honour to receive the award. Um, to be honest, I never would have thought that I'd be um, the recipient of it and to be the first ever First Nations player to, to win it is also a huge honour. Um, and yeah, I was pretty taken back yesterday when I got the phone call that I was the recipient. Um, I had to question whether they were sure that it was me that, that was winning it. But yeah, it's such an honour and um, absolute privilege just to be playing cricket for Australia, which is, um, yeah, one of my lifelong dreams. And you mentioned in, in your first answer about being the first First Nations person to, to win the medal as well. Um, it, it's been an incredible summer, obviously, with Scotty Boland as well, his performances in Melbourne and the, the Johnny Muller medal. What does that mean to you to have um, your culture, your heritage so incredibly represented across this summer and can, will continue to be represented with the next generation coming through? Yeah, um, it's been fantastic to see, obviously, Scotty um, get the opportunity um, to play for Australia and to, to take that with both hands and, um, yeah, have an absolute um, massive Ashes um, series. And, yeah, I guess I've always spoken about um, for young, aspiring First Nations kids wanting to play cricket, um, they need role models. And I think in the past there hasn't been those role models for those kids to, I guess, want to look up to and, you um, you can't be what, what you can't see. And um, I think now that there's more First Nations players coming through, um, it's an absolute honour to be a role model for those kids and, um, yeah, hopefully encourage them to want to play cricket. And I know you touched on the lean one you had in the WBBL last week for the Test match, but is there, and I know no player wants to go through a run like that, but is there a sense of satisfaction when you come out of it the other side like you have in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, like you mentioned, obviously, no, no one wants to go through those patches, but I think it's good for, for people's careers to, I guess, not hit rock bottom, but go on that slight decline to then actually find the confidence again and, and find the rhythm back in your batting. Um, cricket's such a funny game because it's obviously very um, mental and um, yeah, you can find yourself in some pretty dark places when you aren't in the best of form. And that was certainly me. And I can openly ad admit that my mental health probably wasn't great at the end of the big bet. End of the big bash, sorry. Um, and yeah, I think just going forward into the WNCL season, I just tried to take a lot of confidence out of that. And then coming into this series, um, I was certainly really nervous going into this series, but um, I think just having the backing of all my teammates and all the staff is really important as well to, to find that confidence again. Yeah, obviously five days would be fantastic. Um, in the three test matches that I've played, rain's affected every single one of them. So it's always made it um, pretty challenging to get a result. Uh, so, yeah, I think having that fifth day for the potential of rain um, would be would be handy. Um, but obviously, I think I think the way that cricket's going at the moment for the females, there's definitely um, room for room for a fifth day because um, obviously you've seen there hasn't been many results recently. And I think that would probably be one of the best solutions. And just one, just going back a bit, you were talking about how you were sort of after WBBL. Did you sort of, did you do anything to sort of get yourself away for a week or two there? Because I know there was that little bit of period there between WBBL and WNCL. Were there any sort of strategies you employed um, to get yourself sort of in the right frame of mind for this series and what you've done in WNCL as well? Yeah, I um, did a few sessions with the psych, um, Pete, and luckily he's here on, on tour as well. So he's a fantastic touch point. But I pretty much just wanted to get away from cricket, spend some time with family and friends. Um, I was on the road for three months and um, it can be quite a long time when you can't actually see any of your family. Um, and I think that's the thing that I was struggling with most was obviously that burnout factor of being away from um, those closest to you, but also performance obviously has a pretty big impact as well. When you're not playing your best cricket, um, you can find yourself at a pretty low point and that was me. And obviously I just wasn't enjoying um being around a group situation. Um, so yeah, I think coming back from that and then being able to go back into the breakers um, set up around a different bunch of girls, a lot of young girls that keep you pretty fresh and young as well. Um, I think was really instrumental coming into this series to actually feel confident again. And I think as soon as I got back into this setup, um, there was full faith that I would get back to where um, I wanted to be. Uh, congrats, Ash. Uh, could you talk us about uh, talk to us about how good it has been to have uh, Mitch Stark around the team at various points through the course of the summer and uh, uh, what kind of conversations that goes around uh, with him in the nets, you know. 
Uh, yeah, he's always great to have around the group. Um, everyone obviously knows him pretty well. And um, I think just from the experience that he has as a test cricketer has been really good. Um, I know the day before the test match, I was chatting to him about um, just some fields and um, I, I was trying to ask him what Nathan Lyon does um, when he gets the ball in hand and just different tactical things. Um, so, yeah, I think from that perspective, him playing a lot of games and a lot of test matches, we could we could really lean on him for the tactical side of things. Obviously, I do a completely different skill to what he does, but just, yeah, to hear team tactics, um, yeah, he's just been really helpful and he's a great guy just to have around the group as well.